Yo, what is up guys? So we are back over here with the Longhorn today, the 2018, and uh, we are going to be doing a start up on the truck real quick. I wouldn't consider this a cold start. It was kind of cold last night, but you know, we were running it last night pretty late. So um, I have a feeling it's not gonna be any kind of an issue, obviously starting this truck, but we will get the start up here. Why, hello there. Hi. How are you today? Good, how are you? <laughs> By the way, let's clear something up. How many comments were there about spark plugs? A lot. In the other video. I thought it was very obvious because I said it so many times in a joking manner and she's over here laughing and um, I thought it was very obvious that it was a joke. No, we didn't upgrade spark plugs. <laughs> in the 2018 comments. No, we did not do that. It's a joke. And for people that are wondering why it's, it was, I had to just be goofy like that and I couldn't tell you, you know, what's done to the truck, what's not done to the truck and go through the parts and stuff like that. Cause it is actually, things are very strict and regulated with these new trucks. And technically you're not supposed to be influencing other people and showing in tutorials on how to do certain things to certain trucks. I hope you guys are picking up what I'm putting down because I'm making it pretty obvious. I can't go through part by part and be like, this is what happened, this is what happened, this is what happened. It's just not, I, I don't wanna pay a giant fine. I just don't wanna go through specifics and stuff like that and get myself in trouble. Anyways, we are gonna go get some food to eat and then we're gonna do something on this truck, not like a, not no parts, nothing like that, but just kind of like go through a review. So on the settings that are on this truck, we're just gonna call them settings one, two, three, and four. You guys, you guys get what I'm saying, I hope. I hope there's no more like, what does one, two, three, four mean <laughs> um, in the comments because it's very obvious, guys. I'm making this very obvious. Oh yeah, and I got an exhaust tip for the truck. It's only a four to six inch tip. I felt like that was a, I felt like it would be a pretty clean look for this truck. Really quick guys, we're gonna go down the road here and I'm gonna try to review some of these numbers. You guys can use your imagination to fill in the blanks on what numbers mean in this truck. I'm not gonna make it, it's, it's actually, I mean it's pretty obvious, but I'm, I'm not gonna um, go into detail. You guys can just think what you want about it. But right now actually, and in the first video that I made of this truck, I was in number one setting. So you guys know. Um, and I thought it sounded really good. I thought it had a lot of get up and go, a lot of you know increased power. But obviously with the other possible spark plug and air filter upgrades, obviously that's probably gonna help as well with um, acceleration and increased feel of power and stuff like that. But um, we're gonna go here and I'm actually going to increase it to setting two. Feel click. Yeah. Oh my oh. gosh. Yep, it rolled. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> that's scary. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's setting two, which is only half of the power increase of setting four. Um, so, what was your reaction? <laughs> I was like grabbing the steering wheel, like, oh, oh crap. <laughs> it was trying to grab and go. Yeah, it was it trying was really to grab hard. and go, but it couldn't. It was... Traction control had to kick in because it was getting a little squirrely. In setting number two, we're going to do a little acceleration for 35 right now. And this isn't pinned, this is just laying into it a little bit. I want to pin it so bad, but it's just like... There's just no, it doesn't keep traction long enough. As soon as you try to pin it, it just completely loses traction and just starts spinning the tires. It's wide. It's wide. wide. Yeah. <laughs> no. Nope. He doesn't know that. He doesn't know that there's a diesel. He had a proud Cummins owner. <laughs> he 
doesn't know that there's another diesel behind him. You're supposed to do stupid stuff when you have another diesel behind you. What are you doing? <laughs> what you're supposed to do under those. This truck sounds so good, and not to mention, I have traction control off right now, so I can actually spin the tires a little bit here and there. It's kind of fun. So here we go. Pretty much an open road here. So we're gonna get down a road over here. I don't even know if you guys have seen me like hardly at all in this video so far. It's mostly been of the steering wheel, but we're gonna pull down a road, take it back right up here, and then we're gonna try to get an exhaust clip from the outside of the truck passing by in tune three. And we're gonna do a drive-by in setting number three. So hopefully you guys enjoy that in the truck does um you'll see you'll see it runs it runs pretty good it's kind of cool it's got a lot of power Number three setting, burnout, is what that was. And the air intakes got pretty mad, so they started coughing up some black soot. But <laughs> this thing peels the tires like it's nobody's business. Like I'm telling you, as soon as I applied the brake a little bit and then just started to put down the throttle a little, it was just like, yeah, it was just roasting them. I actually saw them, I was looking in my rear view mirror here in my, and I was looking at my tire and there was rubber flying off the side of that tire right there. I was like, oh my gosh. So anyways, we're going to put the exhaust up on this truck real quick. And hopefully we have a blade here that I can use to cut or a grinder. Cause we're just gonna back it into the shop here, grind off a little bit of the tailpipe on the end and put on the exhaust tip. Just that's really just a cosmetic thing for looks. There's not really any performance, but uh, Might give it a little bit better exhaust note and then maybe we're gonna get on the road here again and do one more burnout, but this time try to hold it a little bit longer and Smoke the tires a little bit. Okay, so we are back to the house and um I'm thinking I want to start up Smalls. We're going to be putting this exhaust tip on. We we're going to do it at the other property. However, went over there and the saw blades were not there and the other tools were not, um, well, I just wasn't able to find them. Smalls is plugged in right now. I'm hoping it'll start right up. See, it's a little bit far forward because my girlfriend drove it last. But um, we're going to, we're going to, Leave that there. I'm gonna try to put the seat back. I'm not gonna drive the truck, but I wanna let it run while I'm putting on this exhaust tip. Let's see if she'll start up. This is sat for a little while. How long is this truck sat? Uh, the last time we drove it was last time I posted that video, a week ago? I think about a week. I'm gonna let it run for probably, I don't know, just 10 minutes. But by the way, if you haven't heard yet, we're doing a giveaway with this truck, and the giveaway for this truck starts January 4th. So set your alarm clocks, set your time. January 4th, 2019, which is not as far away as it sounds, only a couple days, the giveaway for this thing goes live. Every $15 will be another entry to win. If you guys want to hear my explanation for the giveaways and the truck stuff, I explained it in the previous video. I've said it many, many times. It is, 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 it is this simple, okay? Everybody else on YouTube who does these car channels and truck channels, they sell merch, right? They sell tons and tons of merch because if they don't sell merch, they can't afford to do most of the stuff that they do on their trucks. 
And so I'm doing the same thing, except I'm giving away a truck to a fan each month out of the people who supported my channel for the previous month and who bought merch. I pick one of those random people and I give them a truck. That's the only difference between me and the other channels. And I stress that you could be winning a truck in case there's more people who are on the fence of wanting to, you know, support and buy merch and stuff. It's an opportunity to do that and also win a truck, you know, maybe you need the money. Maybe you don't like this truck, maybe you hate the truck, but the truck's worth, you know, 15 grand the way it sits, 18, depending on, you know, who you sell it to, um, especially once it's done. And maybe you could just use the money and you want to buy a different truck. So anyways, we're going to leave this truck running. We're going to get that exhaust hit put on the Longhorn and get on back down the road. And it looks good. It's pretty easy to do. Fits nice. Get in the truck and rev it a couple times. Nothing crazy, just a couple revs. take this truck out onto the road really quick and we're going to try to do a nasty burnout if you guys can hear me over the sound of the wind go figure it's always super windy when we got to film but we're gonna go and try to do a burnout in the truck Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Did you enjoy making it? At least a little bit. Oh, um, the neighbor actually came out. You see the neighbor come out of his garage and he's like peeking around out there because he heard the truck revved up. When I came out to do the burnout the second time, he's out there like peeking around the garage. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for filming today. I appreciate it. And then also remember, OBS F350 four door long bed truck giveaway starts January 4th. Do not miss out. All the same stuff is going to apply. There's some new items on the store. Every $15 will get you another entry to win. Most of you guys know the drill. If you don't, information down in the description below. Thank you so much. Join the team, join the family. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.